Usually when you hear buy one, get one free, you think it's a good thing. Not so. Jim Cramer's talking about oil. He's on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So, Jim, you wrote about this today, right. and let's kind of backtrack your reasoning a little bit. Okay, uh, BOGO is a term that we're used to seeing at the supermarket, buy one, get one cereal. Uh, but you've got to look at what Iran's able to sell oil at. They can sell it at $13 without, and still do really well. They want to take market share away from Saudis, from Venezuela, from Nigeria. Um, and so if oil price is at 27 and they can sell it at 13 it's buy one, get one. And they've got the, the oil right in the ships. There's plenty of tankers ready to take their oil. They literally, there is plenty of space that they can sell everything everywhere. And if you're a refinery company and you're you're looking at oil that's where they're charging the world price of 26 and you're getting uh, Iran oil at 13 which are you going to buy well you're obviously going to buy Iran so Iran is going to buy share they hate the Saudis this is a major uh, geopolitical situation and so you're in a situation where they can buy one you can buy one get one if you're a refinery and that's exactly what's happening and Jim you make the point that American companies can't compete against that no I mean in real money what I'm saying is is that there other than the Eagleford shale there isn't any any oil Oil that can come out at these prices where any of our producers can make, uh, well, I mean, let's put it this way, against $13, they, they're just going to lose money. And I think that one of the things you're seeing in this market is a belief that almost all the debt to the mid, mid cap companies, I mean, the, uh, the Apaches, the Anadarko, people are saying that that's very at risk. And obviously they're saying that Chesapeake's very at risk, at risk in uh, Freeport. We have unbelievable reporting on this, by the way, uh, by Carlton English and by James Passeri. I mean, when I say unbelievable, I'm not talking my book. I mean, they're doing the best work. I just have to point you toward what they're writing because they understand where the stress is in the system. All right, some good reads from Jim Cramer and others. I'm Rhonda Schaffler for The Street. To get more of Jim Cramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetCramerEdge.com. That's GetCramerEdge.com.